thank you very much, uh, the Chair of Governing Council, uh, George, uh, the uh, incoming uh, National Director, uh, Pastor Simon, uh, the Deputy uh, Ezekiel Baraza, uh, the National Associates Executive Committee Chair, uh, Rogers, uh, all focus staff and associates, and the other brethren from all over the world, as I was made to understand during the introductions, who are in this uh, conversation. Uh, receive very warm greetings uh, from me, from Makweni County in Kenya, in the name of our uh, Lord and Savior. Uh, it's a great honor to really participate uh, in this uh, very important uh, Focus Kenya Virtual Associates uh, 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 meeting, uh, especially as it comes uh, after the church and politics meeting uh, that happened in this country uh, a few uh, weeks ago, and which was even addressed by uh, the president of Malawi. Uh, so I sense a, re a reawakening of the Christian church uh, in Kenya, of the church in Kenya, uh, to really get engaged in matters about the, the, our country so that we don't just confine ourselves to uh, the word evangelism. Uh, we are saying that that is not enough. And I think uh, Dr. Uh, Linda, was extremely articulate. And uh, although uh, that was the devotion, I very much think that it was really um, a, a keynote, uh, a, a keynote uh, as well. And uh, this really makes my heart very warm uh, to see that uh, Kenyans, uh, the Kenyan church, like in the 90s, is beginning to say that our country is taking the wrong trajectory and it is time for us to stand and be accounted. And even if engagement is dangerous, it is meandering, there could be ambushes. Uh, Christians are being called uh, to uh, participate in making matters uh, right uh, so that we are uh, light and we are salt and we are also pepper. Uh, so that we can put that paper in the eyes of those who are not doing things in the correct way so that we call them to attention. So these are very important moments for us. But the challenge, therefore, will be all these things that we discuss, how do we do them? Uh, so that they don't just end up at the discussion level because there's a tendency of many good discussions ending at the... Uh, just discussion level uh, towards a better nation, my contribution matters. Uh, that is a very apt description of uh, what you are engaging in, what we are engaging in uh, today, uh, because we want a better nation so that we can all live in it comfortably. And to get that better nation, each contribution without exception, uh, does uh, matter. And we remember in uh, Jeremiah 29, 7, Jeremiah uh, telling the exiles uh, to seek peace and prosperity of the city, even when they were in exile, and uh, to pray for the city, because if it prospered, uh, then they too would uh, prosper. And although we are not uh, in exile uh, in our country, unless one says we are metaphorically in exile because we are not getting some of what we should, but strictly speaking, we are not like people in Tigray. I heard there are some Ethiopians also in the conversation. Uh, but this message applies to us that uh, we need to seek peace. We need to seek prosperity for all uh of us. Uh, and that is why, therefore, I said I am really very happy uh, to be in this uh, 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 conference 
to be in this uh, meeting. Uh, let me begin by uh, very briefly talking about public participation and uh, Kenya's legal framework. And Linda did uh, explain uh, a lot about what participation is and, and, and dichotomized between citizen public participation and political uh, 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 public participation. Uh, public participation, simply speaking, is a structured way of consulting with persons, groups, and entities before decisions are uh, made. And thus, it is designed to give a voice to every stakeholder in an organization uh, or community, particularly those who are voiceless. And it will cement the concept of agency to the current government, the national government, uh, other organizations serving humanity in uh, various uh, uh, ways. And therefore, it is not a way of just conveying decisions which have been already which have already been made by political leaders by leaders in marketplace organizations uh it is really meant it is a process through which important decisions which are made uh are co-owned by all the stake stake uh orders uh, stakeholders and it's not a question of uh, like a leader giving instructions telling you know, telling people, this is what we want to do. This is what has been decided. So you confirm it. Uh, this is, uh, that is why it is called pu public participation because it's a very participatory uh, way of arriving at decisions that are reasoned by all those who are involved in whatever action is going to be taken so that there is comfort that what eventually is uh, decided is decided by the many uh, and it is not just public participation by those who are voiceless alone. It is public participation by all stakeholders uh, 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 so that those who have voice uh, are part of it. Those who are without voice are part of it. Uh, so that ultimately, uh, the decision that is arrived at is a decision that uh, all will be uh, comfortable, uh, comfortable uh, 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 with. And uh, that is why uh, in our country, in Kenya, uh, there was a big struggle as we made uh, the 2010 constitution uh, so that the citizen is brought center stage in governance uh, so that we move away from top-down uh, approach where political leaders especially would make decisions and they would tell us that this has been decided, this is what you must uh, accept and you must pursue. And so we write a constitution where in Article 1, we say that sovereign power belongs to the people. And as a consequence, whether you are in the executive, national or subnational level, whether you are in the uh, uh, legislature, uh, national and subnational, whether you are in the judiciary, and here we have judiciary only at the uh, national level, uh, you exercise whatever the constitution says you must exercise, whatever power, you exercise that because it's flowing from the citizenry. It is delegated power. And so one of the things that citizens must do is to ask this power that we have delegated to others because all of us cannot exercise uh, the power. How is it exercised? Does it benefit us? And as a consequence, if it doesn't, we have the right to say it doesn't and we require you to be accountable as leaders and to do things the way the constitution and other laws uh, and our values say things should be done. Again, in Article 10, sub, uh, sub Article 2A of our the Kenyan constitution, uh, you uh, uh, of public participation being mentioned uh, in the constitution uh, itself so that there is clarity. Uh, people will understand that this is a cons constitutional imperative 
and 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 well, all, all of us must abide uh, by it. And in the fourth schedule, part two, uh, sub part fourteen, uh, the constitution uh, 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 says that uh, communities must be enabled to uh, uh, to develop the capacity to engage in public uh, uh, participation. And again, in our country, uh, there is a county, gov county government act, which itself uh, in various sections, 87 to uh, 92, 115, 174, where again, the principles of our public passion is, is to be done. Uh, they are all articulated and uh, therefore, uh, unlike in the past, unlike during the one party era, where you know people were exercising power in such a way as to dominate, as uh, Linda explained, one of the problems of uh, why there is a shortfall in uh, how we uh, govern uh, 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 here. So the constitution and the subsidiary law were so very clear about this public participation, this engagement of all in matters affecting them uh, must be entrenched in the constitution must be entrenched in the law and hopefully a culture will develop uh, to make it second nature uh in our uh in our uh, uh country and uh, so from the legal provisions and uh, uh, when linda was uh, uh during the devotion and she talked about this smart lawyer uh, who was trying to, you know, ask Jesus uh, all these loyally questions? I, I was saying to myself, I, I hope Linda is not also thinking that there is going to be another lawyer uh, coming to talk to us, and he should not be, you know, too smart. Uh, lawyers sometimes think they are very smart. Uh, so, but from all these laws, uh, you can discern that there are many purposes for public participation. Sometimes people do public participation just to fulfill legal requirements. So that one can say, I put a notice uh, in the papers. I told people to come to bring memoranda. Uh, even when one is not asking, are they literate? Can they write? Do they know where to send it? Do, who will write it for them? Uh, so sometimes it's done just to fulfill legal requirements. Uh, critically, it is done to embody the ideals of democratic participation and inclusion uh to also advance social justice uh to uh, uh, facilitate community-led development uh, sometimes uh, to inform the public to en enhance uh, understanding of the public problems and to explore uh, how these uh, problems can be uh, solved uh, and sometimes it's also used to produce policies plans uh, bills uh, and, 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 and so on and so forth. Uh, one is saying that public participation has to be done in such a way uh, that you involve uh, everybody, uh, particularly those who want to be involved, and you make sure that you encourage as many people as, 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 as well to get uh, encouraged. And, and, and it is done in such a way that the result that will ensue is a result from the bulk of the people uh, who have participated uh, uh, so that the decisions that are arrived at are all uh, 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 good decisions and the resources are shared according to the public participation and people feel that they own that process whether it is they own what is happening in the county government, what is happening at the national government, or what is happening in an organization like Focus, what is happening in uh, Focus Associates, what is happening uh, in whatever community level, uh, like in the example that we got of uh, the NHIF and uh, 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 so, so on. Now, there was that powerful rendition of the biblical basis for uh, public uh, participation. And I think for us, of course, as Christians, because we believe that uh, all these problems that we have, if one goes to the Bible, 
you will get the solutions of them. Even seemingly new concepts like public participation in the political domain and in African countries where maybe it was not happening before. But that does not mean that in scripture, it's a foreign uh, concept. And therefore, even when we are being engaged, uh, we are being asked to engage in public participation as, as Christians, uh, this is something that has happened. And I think Linda did demonstrate the story of the Good Samaritan, uh, the Acts 6, 1, uh, 7, uh, and so on. And I, I want also uh, 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 briefly to say, when one looks at uh, Isaiah uh, 1, 18, when uh, God uh, called his people to reason together with him about their ways, because these people were complaining uh, that his ways were unjust, in, and, 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 and therefore he rejected them unjustly. So God invites them to settle the matter uh, by understanding how they had rebelled against him. And the invitation was to repentance and reconciliation with God. And so this tells me that if the sovereign God can call people to reason with him, we must also reason with those we lead. We must reason with those in our uh, communities. And we know that in our faith, God never forces us to be saved. God says, this is available. Christ is available. Salvation is available. But you have free will. Uh, so you must participate in your own salvation. I will not force you to be saved. And even when you do wrong, I'll not tell you, uh, you must repent. But we are told that there's the facility of repenting so that there can be uh, forgiveness. Uh, and so, unlike maybe other regions where you can be forced to get into that region, uh, we have the facility to decide for ourselves so that that salvation becomes real, meaningful, because you are pursuing it upon being called to salvation. Again, when one looks at uh, Acts 17, uh, 11, and I will quote that scripture, now the Bereans were of more noble character than the, the, the Thessalonians, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. And as a consequence, uh, Jews and Greek women and Greek uh, men uh, believed. So you can see that even when Paul is an actor in terms of preaching, uh, the Bereans are saying, no, 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 no. We must cross-check. We must participate to be sure that what we are being told is scriptural. It is the truth. And, and, and again, that is a very high standard of public participation where one says, yes, this is the word of God. And somebody is transmitting it to me. And I want to really verify to be sure that there is no false doctrine. Uh, uh, there is no heresy. There is no uh, 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 wrong uh, teaching uh, coming uh, through. And of course, because there is this thoroughness among the Bereans, that is why many people uh, 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 believe. We are very familiar with the story of Nehemiah uh, from uh, chapter 2, 17, 18, and onwards, where uh, Nehemiah, you know, comes uh, from exile, and Nehemiah is able to say, uh, can we rebuild the wall? Can we all participate? In doing this, bringing honor back uh, to our city and, uh, and, and to God. And there's a very elaborate way in which uh, people are saying, I will, I'm going to be responsible for this gate. I'm going to do this, this family, we are going to do this. So that there is thoroughgoing public participation and the job, even with, the, uh, with, 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 with all the impediments, that are, are put on the way, uh, there is achievement and there is glory uh, to God. And so 
uh, this is again a, a very very robust a uh, public participation uh, uh process uh through Nehemiah and at the end uh the people themselves come they say come let us start the building they have they, they have accepted that this is their mission and they, they will get involved uh in it alongside Nehemiah as a, a leader and of course we know later on uh, there is you know teaching uh, going back to scripture going back to the law of Moses so that again is public participation in terms of uh, 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 scripture uh, being embraced uh, all over there is also a spiritual uh, renewal and so when leaders help people see their current conditions and envision a better future uh, the people work without complaining and stand with the leaders in times of opposition so that even with the opposition that happened during those times, uh, the people were able to uh, overcome. And even if it meant you rebuild and you are holding uh, a, a weapon to ward off those who want to destroy uh, what you're doing, uh, that, uh, that, that happens. They are not aggressing. They are simply saying, we have this mission to accomplish and we will not uh, allow anybody to torpedo uh, our, uh, our, 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 our efforts. Uh, there is a passion. There is a, a passage that I really love in terms of public participation, uh, which is uh, John six, uh, one to thirteen. There is this big gathering. Uh, Jesus is preaching. He uh, he realizes that the people are hungry. Uh, he's fed them with the word, but they need food. And when the disciples are called upon to give a, a solution to uh, how this should happen, uh, they, they, they think it's impossible. Uh, maybe they were thinking that is very expensive, you know, uh, they must go and buy food because they used to go and buy, you know, provisions uh, for, the, 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 for themselves and Jesus. Uh, and Jesus helps to show them that things can get done uh, differently. And uh, when therefore he asks whether, you know, there is anybody with anything uh, food-wise in the meeting, uh, Simon Peter is able to pinpoint uh, there is a, 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 a boy with five loaves of bread and two small fish. Uh, at least Simon Peter is able to uh, say that there is this possibility but i'm thinking that he thought it was not enough and uh, uh then uh, jesus takes those fishes we know there are more than five thousand people uh so that he uses what there is among the people and jesus used to do this a lot of times even when he was healing people some of them came to him he didn't go to them and tell them that I'm going to heal you. Uh, I'm coming to you. So that there is your participation. Uh, and then Jesus will do the needful. Uh, and I think this is what we are being called upon to do. Uh, even if our country is to be healed, it's not going to be healed because we, uh, we ourselves, you know, just pray and say to God, heal our country. Uh, there is our part. And when we do our part, God, who is faithful, will definitely uh, do uh, uh, his part. So, in this example, uh, the young, the, the very unexpected quarter provides the food, the, 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 the threshold food, so to speak. And from that, Jesus multiplies it and everybody is fed and even their remnants of the food and it is also symbolic, the kind of remnants that uh, there are. So we may not perform a miracle like Jesus, but when we involve people, we see some resources among them which can bring change. And even the least of the people have something to offer. So they shouldn't be ignored. One could have ignored this small boy. Why were you coming? Why were you coming here? You are supposed to have been somewhere else. This is something for uh, 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 big people and so on and so forth. So in Kenya, in terms of uh, the 
public participation, especially in the secular situation. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have been doing token public participation. And this is what I said earlier, like there is a, a bill, there is a plan, there is a, some decision. And we uh, uh, say, let us put it in the papers. Of course, many people will not access. The period will be very short. Uh, even when those views are brought forward, we don't know how they are processed. Uh, we don't know how uh, they are processed. Uh, and so some of the counties uh, like Elgeo Maraquet, like Kilifi, like, like Kipia, like Makweni, uh, they have begun to uh, deepen public participation to some extent. And of course, other uh, counties and other departments at the national uh, level where the public participation is is uh, is, is 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 deeper, uh, and I like the, the 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 example that was shared about about NHIF because in Laikipia they actually went round and they uh, collected data uh, property data of people and were able to say uh, this person deserves uh, to be assisted to 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 be helped with NHIF uh, others. I've got this is the insurance, the national insurance scheme. Others have capacity; they should not be helped. So that that help was very uh, 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 targeted, uh, and 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 this is this is, uh, is 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 good. Now, principles of public participation. Uh, I think when you do it well, uh, it gives legitimacy. To the decisions that you are, uh, uh, you want uh, uh, taken, the decisions that people will, even people want taken, uh, so that uh, you have a fair, transparent uh, 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 process. Uh, and maybe some of the criticism of the BBI initiative was that uh, inclusiveness, that transparency, uh, uh, to ensure this legitimacy. Perhaps that didn't uh, uh, happen. Uh, and, and 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 people kept on saying that we are not getting involved. Uh, uh, we wish, uh, if we are to change the 2010 constitution, we should be involved just like we were uh, previously. And of course, this legitimacy will g bring a trust, uh, uh, and and then people will say we own these decisions. Whatever is to be done subsequently will be sustainable because there is ownership of that. Uh, again, another principle is diversity and inclusion, so that, and this is a point I tried to make earlier on, so that you don't simply say that I want to listen to the elite, I want to listen to a, a, another section. You, you, you say that we must listen to everybody and facilitate those who are usually uh, uh, secluded, uh, marginalized, to be part of it. We have actually, for example, in Makwene, done. Uh, public participation with children like we call children sometimes they do uh, games uh, their own games they are playing in form of games uh, singing uh, some uh, uh, theater uh, and actually they are able to tell you uh, what ails their community for example the children will say there is a uh, our school is near the road. When these cars are passing, there is dust, there is noise. We are not studying well. Uh, the children will say, parents take me to look for water far away. Therefore, I'm late in school. I'm tired by the time I come to school. So you know there's a water uh, problem. They'll tell you that the road is not good when it rains. It takes a long time to come to school and we have mud on our feet and all that. So you, can, you may assume that children will not tell you anything and they are there to be they are not to be listened to but when you engage them in a, in a in a place where they feel comfortable they are able to tell you many things and actually one thing that really saddened us was when uh adelina mao the deputy governor talked to you know children uh, about uh, uh and and, and dr zipora wambo about uh i think it was about uh, 7,000 children or so in various locals uh, in our 60 sub wards. The children, and this was about 
uh, abuse. The children actually came up with stories so long as they felt they are in a comfortable space. They came out with uh, 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 stories of abuse by relatives, by uh, teachers, even in some instances by uh, people in the church, uh, and so on. So uh, that exclusiveness, that, that inclusion, uh, so that everybody has some space. Even women have told us that there is the general public participation, but we want our special one. There are certain things that we don't feel comfortable discussing with uh, 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 some men uh, around. We have had also PWDs wanting to be hard on their own, even after being hard with everybody else, people living with HIV AIDS. So uh, you look at, you know, all, all, all people, so that there's that diversity, there's that inclusion. And again, the expertise in public participation so that you ensure that uh, you ensure that uh, people of, 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 of the civic education, uh, they, they are helped to be able to participate for real. Uh, so that, again, it is not just a token. Uh, uh, let me say, because I know the, 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 time, the time aspect, let me say that when I, when, when, when I became governor in Makwene uh, County uh, in 2013, uh, and the country has 47 counties at the subnational level, uh, when we were elected with the members of the county assembly, uh, they, they, uh, they, they, they said, you know, uh, Professor, uh, some money has come from the national level and it is now time for us to also eat like people at the national level eat. So I told them, you know, we have come here. These resources are limited. We have about one million people. And the evolution is about making sure that this money benefits these people and for a change, some things will happen here which never used to happen from our independence. And they told me, Professor, you are not understanding. No, some of the money uh, is for us to eat and the other money will, some other money will go to the people. And they told, they said, we want one billion shillings. The, the, it was about five billion budget. And these people said one billion were about hundred. And the entire citizenship in Makwene is about one million. So I put my foot down and I said, I am not coming here from the university, from consultancy, from all those things to come and use this money. Because if I was working as a consultant and so on and so forth, even the salaries or a lawyer, the salaries that we get are, you know, considerable. And so my intention is not come to the county uh, to really take our people's money. And so they decided that they were not going to pass budgets. They decided that they were even going to impeach me. Uh, and uh, at some point, you know, I went to a meeting where they were preparing for an impeachment and they said we are trying to disrupt the assembly and they were going to, you know, they shot at us and, and God saved us. Uh, now, the people decided that they were going to uh, dissolve this government. They collected signatures. They did public participation to say, we want our money. We don't want, you know, this money taken away this way. And therefore, we will uh, annul this government. We are going to destroy it. We are going to de-elect it. And then we'll elect another one. And they took signatures to the president. Uh, they and, 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 and there was a commission. The commission came. It was told that we don't want this government anymore. Uh, the, the commission reported that to the president, but he said, okay, for the time being, if we start dissolving county governments, this uh, there could be a domino effect. And so uh, the, 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 the government, the county government was not dissolved. But in the next elections, 2017, only one MCA was, 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 was re-elected. All the 29 were sent home. And this one MCA who was re-elected he had a sick parent and was not part of all those things. He was uh, looking after the sick father. So uh, that told me that you must involve people in their government. And that's why subsequently we were able to begin a process of not only having the national government operating in Makwene and the county government, but we began a process of people's government where from the village, and we have about 36, 43 
uh, villages. Uh, from those uh, 36, 43, uh, these, those villages, there is a forum, they elect a committee, uh, and they can discuss, they can sit down and discuss any matter. They can discuss about teen pregnancy, they can discuss about their farming, they can discuss about security, they can discuss about anything they want to. And uh, on top of that, there is what we call a cluster, three, seven, seven of them, the six sub-wards, up to a county development level uh, for a more government. And they make decisions. For example, when at the ward level, they say that these are the things that we want in the budget after public participation from the village. We can't change that. We sign and those things must be in the budget because they have told us these are our needs, these are our priorities. Then there is a PMC, that is a project management committee, so that they follow what they budgeted for and they supervise along with technical people and with the county administration. They supervise what uh, they have asked for. And if as a contractor you do not uh, do uh, what, 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 what is expected because they have BQs and so on, and there's been some training, then you will not be paid. They, you must have their certificate. And after that, when their project is, is done, then they, uh, they, uh, uh, they, they, there is a sustainability committee to look at how that is uh, happening. At the cluster level now, we have begun to say that there will be resources in, each, in these clusters so that they can do other things that they want. Like they say, there's this road which gives us a problem. There's this donor who has come saying, if you have some stones, you have some sand, we can help you build uh, a, 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 a water tank or whatever. So that they can also now make a decision and even go to donors say that we have this cluster these are the things that we do this is our own development apart from what the county is doing which also we say what should be done apart from what is being done at uh, the national level uh when we are giving scholarships bursaries we take those to the communities and they tell us these are the poorest even some loans some concessional loans we say the same thing so i think these are some of the examples even when we are employing certain people like administrators and so on even after interviews, we take those names to the people so that they can tell us, you know this person, he or she lives in this community. How are they? Do you think they can be an, an administrator here? And actually, some people who scored very high marks have been, you know, we have been told that these people are not, uh, are not, uh, these people are not uh, good enough. We know that, you know, sometimes they are drinking a lot. Sometimes at night they are being found in the wrong places and so on and so forth. So for us, uh, we, we, we thought that let us really do what the constitution is saying, the sovereignty of the people, because our interest is to uh, uh, lead Makwene in a way to honor the people, in a way to honor God, and, and partly even preparing for, for being a governor. Part of why I went to theology school was because I wanted the county uh, to be a pulpit uh, so that I can do development as ministry. I can do leadership uh, as ministry. And so this is why, you know, this is happening. We, As I conclude, uh, of course, there are challenges. And I have mentioned some of those ones. Uh, there are challenges to public participation because uh, uh, it can be token. Uh, sometimes you can also idealize the people too much so that you think it's only those who who you think are without voice, but I've emphasized it is for all. And that is why uh, Focus Associates uh, can be a big leader, a great leader in terms of all those young people in the Christian unions and uh, uh, the associates who were there before, uh, now working with that group and saying, how, how does that group work towards a better nation uh, where my contribution, uh, my contribution uh, uh, matters. Uh, Linda did mention the thing of uh, 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 that public participation debate sometimes may revolve around ethnic excess instead of national and uh, 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 county, you know, a uh, level uh, the excess so that uh, uh, somebody mobilizes their ethnic community. Uh, there is there is a skewed public participation to say that 
you know, some groups are superior and they should be able to benefit and so on and so forth. Uh, and that's not a good, that's not a good thing. Uh, th th that is manipulating the process of public participation. And you have to make sure that people really participate so that you don't just get a few people here. You don't give them enough notice uh, and, and, and you have enough structures uh, for this public uh, uh, participation. So to conclude, um, I think that this is really a very important period for Christians in our country. Uh, and, and, and I really liked uh, what uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, said that, yes, we, we first of all should not minimize the gospel. We shouldn't say uh, we want just to help people go to heaven. Uh, therefore, we are not interested in you know, social uh, gospel, uh, social ministry, and you know, Romans 13, uh and and, and 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 so on but uh you see we are guided by the values the principles in the word and the word cannot accept uh dictatorship cannot accept you know things that are of that kind uh and and of course when one looks at romans 13 carefully and and i and i know that uh Daktari has done that because uh, in the introduction, the seminary where she went, uh, I was saying to myself before going to Bible school that I wish I could go there. Some of my teachers were from there. Even within that text, it is clear that when things are wrong, you are not you are not to 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 obey those wrong things. And and Linda gave examples of uh, like in the Egyptian situation and many many situations uh, 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 in the uh, in the Bible. So. It's my prayer, my fervent prayer, that uh, as focus as all our Christian organizations, in actual fact, in all these Christian or organizations, uh, mainstream church, uh, para, para, uh, para church, uh, we have even the capacity to supply leadership to the country of an ethical nature, uh, which can change the country, just like is happening in the institutions that we work in and we uh, control. So I wish uh, in that youth space where focus uh, operates and, and where the associates can influence, uh, we begin to say that they must, as we go towards 2022, uh, we need a better nation. And what's your contribution? Your contribution matters. And we begin to mobilize towards what will be that con co 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 contribution. And I think if every congregation, in every congregation, we start saying that we are going to talk about peaceful democratic elections, we are going to talk about, you know, corruption issues, we are, that is integrity issues, we are going to talk about what is the face of the next government that we want. And leaderships within, you know, uh, the church, within the politics, within uh, generally the marketplace uh, and we, we we begin therefore to have that message uh, and it is discussed and there is civic education and there is public participation towards a better thing I think that is what that is what really will make us transit from what Linda said the conversations these good conversations we are having and the action on the conversations and so I really uh I'm very happy to be in this space. Uh, Rwanda, actually, there's somebody or some people from Rwanda. They have a very, very, very good public participation national system, which brings people from everywhere, and the president and the ministers and whoever, they sit down and they are critiqued and they are told what they're not doing right, what they're doing right, and all that kind of stuff. And it is my wish that one day in Kenya, there will be that kind of system uh, as well. But I'm asking my church to be very proactive and to you know those uh, uh, those 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 you know the, the 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 dangerous you know the engagement which is dangerous the meandering we don't get ambushed and 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 we are there uh uh like moses leading uh, uh god's people to uh, a proper canon thank you very much Thank Amen. you, thank you. Oh, Your Excellency, you have 
uh, dealt with that topic in a, in a way that I've never thought about. Uh, uh, that public <laughs> participation is in the Bible. Uh, it is good to have you, Professor, uh, somebody who's a scholar in law and also a scholar in theology. And above all, uh, do a practice in that. Because sometimes we talk about theories <laughs> without uh, the practical experience and governor as that. And you can we cannot tell that uh, indeed uh, what he has brought out is very rich. And I could see people who have their videos on nodding throughout, <laughs> meaning that uh, what you are saying was sinking to the bones. And uh, we really appreciate you. We have a couple of questions which I will ask you, uh, Your Excellency, to respond to. Um, I will not, we will not be able, because of constraint of time, to address all of them. But uh, I will read uh, a couple of them and then I will ask you to respond to them. Uh, the first question is, uh, why is it that Christians feel shy to support fellow Christians, yet they are allowed in supporting the non-believers whose track records they know uh, very well? Uh, then I will combine that with another uh, uh, question uh, where you talked about your Damascus experience, you wrote a, a newspaper article and uh, somebody is asking, how far are you in that? Uh, because uh, the end result and the intention from the article is truly God-given. Kindly, uh, uh, Governor, respond to those two questions and I'll bring in uh, more questions after you respond. Thank you. Uh, I think sometimes we, uh, and I think Linda did, did, did mention about this uh, dichotomy as Christians, we think there is the politics, and then there is my faith, and and as a consequence, uh, we are two people. When we go to the ballot box, it's like we are not the Christian who are certain values which we must adhere to, which 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 we must express, and so we say, okay, who belongs to my tribe? I'm going to vote for who belongs to my tribe, who belongs to my clan, who has given me some money. It's like we leave our Christianity outside the polling station and uh, or outside the campaign framework. And so we make these decisions. And of course, there is a lot of canvassing by uh, these people who are not necessarily believers. There's a lot of canvassing uh, and also the political parties, like saying that this is the political party of uh, our group. If I don't vote according to this, then I'm going to be told that I'm a betrayer of, uh, of uh, my tribe. So uh, if we are consistently Christian, even in the polling station, even during the electoral season, then the outcomes can change. And I think that is what happened in Malawi recently. And there was a time it happened in Zambia. And even with the criticism that there are about Trump, but in his first term, there was a lot of involvement uh, of uh, the church uh, in his, uh, in his uh, uh, politics. So I think if we, be, if, if, if we express our Christian principles throughout, especially during, for example, next year, if, as I suggested earlier, there is a civic education which has a spiritual bent uh, so that uh, we can ask what does the bible say about leadership what does the bible uh, we were given again the example uh, the example of uh, uh, by, by, by Linda the example of uh, the, 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 the uh, act 6 1 to 7 uh, about you know the, the people who would give food to widows you know in in in, in a proper way how they were how they were how they were uh, elected or or selected but through a participatory you know process so 
I, I, I think we have to prepare now our Christians going forward. And this has to be a very consistent message from uh, the leadership of mainstream church. And of course, we, you know, we work with other faiths. They are interfaith uh, organizations. Uh, so that we say, uh, let us vote, recruit leadership according to our values. And if we do that, many Christians who are not sure whether they should stand or not, whether they will be supported, they will also come forth. But there are some who say, I'm not sure. If I go into to become MCA, to become MP, whatever, I will be supported by uh, uh, Christians and other people of other uh, uh, faiths. Uh, so this is something that this is something that we must change, and it needs a lot of work so that we can have the better nation. And therefore, the contribution matters in terms of saying that we are going to do our politics uh, 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 differently. Uh, I, th I think when I uh, when I went to hospital and uh, uh, I described what happened in hospital, uh, and I also made reference to uh, Governor Kiraitu saying that he had a Damascus experience, and 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 that meant uh, that meant that we must do politics differently. If 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 I am a Christian, which I am, if somebody else is a Christian as a politician, then surely there must be a difference about how we do our politics uh, uh, as compared to somebody who is not perhaps a practicing Christian or who is not. There must be a difference. And, 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 and in parliament, you know, we have prayer days, national prayer days, we have all that. But again, that also has to translate into uh, how do we do the politics to, to, to reflect uh, to reflect a uh, change, to reflect uh, how, for example, David would rule, you know, how uh, Samuel would, would, would be a judge, you know, uh, how, how does it reflect that? Uh, so the, the Damascus experience was, uh, uh, it was like uh, challenging uh, people who say they want to really do politics. Uh, to change the condition of the people, to uh, stick to that, and to make it sure in the public uh, uh, domain uh, so that it is clear. And even if it's going to take time for people to begin to appreciate that kind of leadership, my view is that will still uh, still happen. But, but uh, even as uh, 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 Dr. Uh, Linda spoke, I also heard she was speaking to me because there are times when you are afraid, when you say as a politician, if I segregate myself, if I don't uh, fly with, uh, you know, all these others, they will uh, ostracize me. Uh, they will even seek to uh, get me out of the politics and all that. Uh, and, and so, you know, I'm saying if... If I am doing right, if we are doing right, uh, then we should not be afraid of that. God will take care, and 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 even like Jonah, uh, you know, God can temporarily get you out of a situation so that He puts you in another situation, and 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 so that that fear, uh, uh, that fear, it's not just within the 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 the, the, the Christian who will go to vote and all that kind of stuff for others. But it's also about Christian politicians who also fear that my values and the way I want to do politics might shine too much light on some other people who are uncomfortable and then they'll ease me out. Uh, so we also have to deal with that. And to deal with that, it means there must be support, a lot of support, prayer support, uh, other support to uh, Christian leaders uh, in all organizations, not just politics who really want to lead the godly way. Thank you, uh, Professor, for that uh, comprehensive answer, which I actually uh, touched on various aspects about uh, uh, being that a Christian leader and what happens uh, to your faith. Actually, indeed, 
as you were answering, you responded to two questions. Uh, one is how has been your experience in the political field as a Christian and how you have managed. And another question that you have actually addressed is how comes the majority of Christians who engage in active politics end up being compromised uh, uh, by uh, negative or negative politics. And I, I believe uh, you have responded to those questions in terms of uh, being a Christian throughout, whether uh, you are a voter, whether you are voted, whether you are a political leader, your Christianity uh, should stand uh, throughout. Your Excellency, I want to uh, bring some questions on uh, uh, public participation, which I will read them and you can actually answer them together because all of them, they are directing towards uh, uh, public participation. The first question is, how do we deal with a situation where the contribution from the stakeholders takes a different direction from what was initially in envisioned? And uh, how do you deal with the reluctance by the members of the public uh, to participate in public participation? And how has public participation helped uh, in accountability in your county? And uh, is it possible that people don't want to participate uh, in any public uh, participation initiative because of the history uh, of, uh, of uh, our leaders uh, corrupt, they are this and that. And then uh, having also the history of inclusion as a theory and not practically so. So kindly you could respond to uh, those issues raised on uh, uh, public participation. Welcome, sir. Yes, I think th there are times when leaders use public participation to legitimize their own positions. And therefore, if during public participation, uh, the community that is getting involved in making a certain decision uh, comes through with a separate, with a different decision from what the le leader or leaders anticipated, then they might still substitute their own decision with the decision of the people. And this is when there is therefore some change uh, in terms of what, you know, people wanted and what the leaders wanted, but the leaders did not actually initially explain that this public participation was just to fulfill the legal requirement, as I said earlier on. And uh, that is one of the bottlenecks of public participation because when you do that people begin to lose confidence in that public participation and they don't come again and they say that you know uh, this is just being done to woodwink us and all that and of course when you uh, accept public participation as a principle uh, which is in the constitution and which is in the bible and so on uh, then it means you must uh, do what the ultimate decision is uh, you must be able to do that and and it it really means as i as as as, as a governor in makweni uh, i am guided you know by what the people you know say that they want done so i'm guided by that of course i have my values you know vision and all that we make conversation and if i think there is something that is happening which perhaps i think there is a problem then i can guide but ultimately like, for example, and this is something that I was misunderstood a lot about, and I must say this year as a Christian, I had problems with BBI. I, uh, I even went to court, and there was a, a court case, a seeking an advisory by the Supreme Court. But the Supreme Court said there are cases in the high court, wait for those cases. Uh, we cannot, as of now, make a decision. Because if the high court cases end up eventually coming to the Supreme Court, we will be called upon to make a decision then. But when the Count Assembly did public participation in Makweni, the people told me with the 15% uh, 
you, you know, we have done the following things. So for us, we are interested in the 35%. And we think that we will vote, the account assembly should vote to forward this matter. And of course, when I'm saying there's uh, other issues and so on, they say they're just focusing on this money. And so when the count assembly voted and said, you know, this, 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 this is what the, the people said, uh, I had to accept that that is the people's decision. I, it might not coincide with my own preference, uh, but uh, I am not a governor of myself. I'm a governor of the people of Makweni. So I had to, to say that, you know, I defer to your decision, but I don't accept your decision. And I think that that distinction is very critical, is, is very, very critical because uh, I don't want to dictate to them. And, 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 and they're, they're, you know, some of my friends, you know, said, you know, you are a reformer, what has happened, you have been compromised and so on. It is, I think, from a lack of understanding of the logic of public perspective, that the people sometimes are going to make decisions that you don't like, and you cannot overrule them just because you don't like their decisions. And that is one aspect of public participation. You know, you, you can get decisions that you, uh, you, you may not have anticipated. Uh, and even if you think it's not the correct decision, for our conversations to happen so that later the people may change their mind if they want or not. So, so I think that is what happens when like people say, uh, this is what we want and then the leader says no because the leader expected a particular decision and they are trying to force it uh, and, 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 and that is not a good thing and people begin to uh, withdraw from public participation because they are saying that it's not genuine it is not uh, real and then that's why there is now this reluctance uh, uh, in the other question this reluctance of uh, we are not going to get you know really involved and, and that means there's got to be a lot of civic education. And they have, you know, the church will come in, the civil society will come in. Other people must come in to tell them that, you know, even if this leader is trying to negate your public participation decisions, uh, that is not correct. Don't lose hope in this process. Pursue this process. Continue to critique, uh, you know, this leader, this county government, this department, this organization. And, and 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 so on i think the way in which we have accountability in makwene there are many ways uh, one of the ways is that public participation way because when the people make their budgets when they 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 have these committees uh, this other government where they keep on asking us questions when many of the important things you say let them make decisions and you accept those decisions then it means that the people will say uh, that the, the leader is doing our will and uh, uh, for example my my i have one parent now uh the, the other parents uh with my spouse the other parents have passed on uh and because in account it's a small place you know the people will you know they would come and tell me if you do something wrong we will walk to your place and we will tell your mother your son has become a thief uh, because it's 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 a small place as such. Or we'll take a matter to, and so on. And actually, incrementally in Makwen, we decided we are going to have something called public open contracting. All our tenders are put in the you know we advertise, and it is open. The information is open. Who has who has asked for uh, the job? Uh, who has got the job? You know how many marks did people get, and all that. This is the criteria. And this information is permanent. Uh, anybody will get it. Anybody. So if you're a worker here and you make wrong decisions, you are compromised. Then you must know that the evidence for your prosecution is already in the data of open contracting. Uh, uh, so that in that way, you know, we minimize the chances of uh, we minimize the chances of uh, people. Uh, compromising uh, uh the, the 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 procurement uh and that is why at some point we you know we 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 had a, a clean audit a report although uh there was some problems later because you know it was asked how can yandarwa and makwene and kericho uh, get 
uh, uh, clean audit reports when some of the national government ministries are you know are not getting and so today we are told you know you, you there's some land without a title and, and so on therefore that is a problem and small problems but so the, the 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 accountability there are many many ways like having an iso we are working on that and so there are many ways to do uh to do that but i'm not saying that you you do it in such a way that there is no wrongdoing anymore the only thing is when there's wrongdoing uh, you must make sure that people will face the law and people will face disciplinary measures and uh, you know and, uh, and 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 all that and it's not easy uh it is not easy because senior people uh in county governments in national governments you know they uh, sometimes want to do things not uh, in the correct uh uh way i think i tried to explain the inclusion uh the inclusion and i tried to explain how we involve all these segments including children including women uh, the orderly people because those ones again are left out uh they the, they are left out uh uh how we 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 also have conversations with them uh as we uh, try to make arrangements for safety net for them to be helped including more, more veterans and so on so we try as much as possible when we find a group uh, that must be included specifically we try and the principle is the government belongs to these people it doesn't belong to the governor therefore uh, we run it the way they want it you know uh, 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 run and we listen to the young people also the young people they come and they tell us that this is what you know we think the orcas the border borders and 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 so on so and and so long as you know uh, they know that you listen you'll respect them you will do you know some of the things the only maybe one of the problems that can be tricky with public participation is if uh, people were to people were to uh, say in public participation arrive at a decision that contradicts our biblical principles our values uh the word then in that instance you would have a moral dilemma you would ask yourself in this situation what happens because there can be some situations where you say if this is what the people have said they want and i really think it flies in the face of everything i believe in uh then uh there are times when you tell the people uh maybe you need another leader because this particular decision i find it very hard to accept uh and of course in history there are people who have done that they have said you know uh the people are saying this i don't really you know want to do that maybe i'll stand i'll not stand for elections again maybe i even want to vacate from office asante <laughs>